Welcome to video 37 in series 3 and in this video I'm going to make the inventory UI. So it's going to be pretty simple. Uh, just a UI canvas. I'll call that canvas inventory. I'll add a uh, panel to it. But before I do that I'll change it so it scales with the screen size. My screen size 1920 by 1080. Uh, yes, I want it to scale equally with width and height. Add in the UI panel, and that panel is panel inventory. Okay, uh, and then let me change that to 2D mode so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, I don't want it to stretch to fill the screen. I'll anchor it in the center, change that. I give it a different width and height to so say 700 by 800. Redo that just to make sure it's centered. And I'll change the color to something like uh, 25 by 25 by 25, and maybe stronger at 200. Okay, and then I'll add a text, so UI text component to the panel, and I'll uh, I'll set it, I'll anchor it to the top and stretch it as well. I'll increase the height to 100, and just do that again, reposition it so it lines up properly. Uh, best fit, center, center. I'll change the text to white so I can see it. Just turn on my caps lock for a moment. Inventory. Okay, I believe I spelled that correctly. And now I'll add a scroll view. So UI scroll view. There we go. There it is. No horizontal scrolling. Its position is going to be lined up with the bottom. It'll fill the space, but leave the inventory portion alone. Uh, so I'll anchor it at the bottom, stretch it at the bottom, increase the height to say 700, reposition it again. OK, and that's looking pretty good. I'll probably change the color. Uh, say to 170, this is just guessing. No, not 700, 170. Uh, maybe that's OK. Uh, well, I can always change it later. Now inside of the scroll view, viewport, do I need to do anything here? Not that I think. Not that I can think of, rather. Uh, the content, the content. Hmm. Do I need to do anything here? Yes. I'm sure to make it work, I need to add in a grid layout group. So I'll just do that. So grid layout group. Yep. And that won't be enough. That won't be enough. Um, but I'll show you what happens anyway. So 500 by 100, give it some spacing, maybe 15. A start axis is vertical, a middle center, constraint only one column I want. All right, I will have padding. I'll show you in a moment what is that about. So I'll add some buttons. I can delete these later. All right, you you can see what's happening right now. Uh, so there's a problem. It's not going to work as expected. Uh, I could try like for example doing this does it do anything nope I don't even know what I'm doing there so I'll show you what you need to do to make this work properly it's not going to scroll properly it's going to be completely messed up uh, I also need to add in some padding we'll get to that let me just hit play and show you what the problem is uh, well there you go you can't scroll properly let me just add more buttons make it even more obvious what the problem is okay all right there you go it thinks it doesn't realize that there's just heaps more content inside of the content area and it all needs to be scrollable. So in order to counteract that, it is pretty simple. So let me just get rid of all the buttons. Uh, just remember, that was just for demonstration. You need a content size uh, fitter. There we go, content size fitter. And set it to vertical fit preferred size. Uh, now I'll add in some buttons again. And uh, just duplicate a couple of times to get that working. And let me just think about that. I also need to uh, set like some padding as well. So 30 at the top, 30 at the bottom, so it lines up correctly. What happens if I hit play now? Okay, so, but did it behave correctly? It looks like it has, if I stop playing. Okay, 
So it looks like the content size fitter solved that. Let me just uh, delete all buttons except this and set the button how I want it with a text that's best fit. And it is, in fact, uh, centered nicely. And I'll just duplicate that button for my trial. OK, and it looks like it's working. You can see what the um, padding is doing. The buttons don't start right up there looking ugly. And if I hit play now, uh, well, that's it. My scroll bar is set up correctly for me. And it's all good, so that was easy. OK, so that's pretty much it. I will delete all those buttons. I'll grab one. I'll go back here, my prefabs, and just drop this in as a prefab. And I will use it much more, well, much later on. OK, so I should make use of it now. So going to the Game Manager, to the Toggle Inventory UI, I'll replace that with my Canvas Inventory now. And uh, I'll go ahead and I guess disable that. Because that's how it should start. And I don't need the cube anymore. That was my dummy thing from previously. Save all that. Hit play. Maybe make that a little bit bigger. OK, so of course I can't bring up inventory while the main menu, uh, well, while the menu is open. So I close that. Press I. Yes, it's working. So my inventory is there. And of course I can't close it with escape. I must press I. And then it's gone. And I can continue on. Right, excellent. So later on, yeah, well, a fair bit later on, then we'll get around to actually making use of the inventory uh, for our items and weapons. All right, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.